Hey everyone, it's John P.O. here, and this is Maincade episode number 13. But first, a heartfelt thanks to those of you who have subscribed to the channel already. Thank you very much. And today we're going to explore Cinematronic's 1984 arcade game, Freeze. So grab your flamethrower, your jetpack, and an extra pair of long johns because it's cold where we're going. Your ship has suffered a heavy power loss, leaving you stranded on a dangerous polar world. Your only chance to get off this giant ice cube is to descend into the caverns below to retrieve a Mondo Crystal, the only thing that will repower your ship. Scanners show dangerous polar inhabitants. Burn them with your flamethrower if you must. Fortunately, it seems power crystals are plenty to recharge your jetpack and flamethrower, but remember to keep moving or your protective gear will fail and you'll just simply freeze. In 1984, Twisted Sister was scaring parents on MTV and Freeze was in the arcades of America. It was released by Cinematronics, a company that was originally known for its vector games, but eventually became better known as the company that released and brought us Don Bluth's Dragon's Lair, one of the first Laserdisc games. Freeze had a two-directional joystick, just left and right. You would get around the frozen world by either running or using your jetpack. By pressing the thrust button repeatedly in conjunction with the joystick, you could sort of fly. Gravity is definitely working against you here. Every thrust burns your precious fuel, and only gathering crystals can replenish it. You're also armed with a flamethrower that uses fuel. Again, those same crystals will replenish it. Now you can melt certain ice walls to gain entrance into other areas, but in this frozen world, nothing stays melted for long. Your enemies are the inhabitants of this planet, ice bats and cavemen to name some. A blast of your flamethrower can take care of those guys. Your character in Freeze reminds me somewhat of the player from Activision's 1984 game Hero, even though he used a propeller rather than a jetpack, but there's no questioning 1985's Section Z's look. He even goes in a hole in the ground just like in Freeze. Even I'm guilty of making a bad game that used a good old jetpack protagonist. The point of Freeze is to navigate the ice caverns to find the Mondo Crystal to refuel your ship. Not such an easy task. You must keep moving or else just flat out freeze in place and lose a life. I've played the game over and over and it seems the maze is constant, so it should just be a matter of finding the right path. I'm still looking for the Mondo Crystal. I haven't been able to get it yet, so I can't really tell you what exactly happens when you do find it. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. But Freeze is a fun game and definitely worth playing.